is a crash course in Zoho Campaigns. When you log into Zoho Campaigns, this is the main interface. We can go here to our contacts to see what contacts are being synced from the CRM. If you look here at your list management, we have a few different lists as well as which contacts are getting synced. So these are the current syncs. You can see that there aren't any active syncs. So we're going to do a new sync. This one's going to be all leads. And we can sync with our leads module. And we can either sync all leads or a custom view. So when you go to set this up for your leads that you've sent something to that are unresponsive, you'll essentially create a new view or a new status in uh, uh, the lead status called unresponsive. If they don't get back to you within two days and you want to put them on a, a curated uh, campaign, you will mark them as unresponsive. You'll then sync, uh, or you'll see we'll create a segment off of all leads that just pull out those leads that are unresponsive and then from there we'll put a campaign together that starts to send a series of emails to those unresponsive leads. So right now we're just doing a sync for all leads for the leads module and we're going to sync this then to the list of all leads. If it doesn't exist, we'll add it. We're using the CRM as kind of the main hub, so all contacts, all leads, everything either gets input into the CRM or deleted in the CRM, and everything is synced back to campaigns. We're never putting anything into campaigns and having to sync up to the CRM. So in this case, we're not going to allow um, a sign-up form because any sign-up forms are going to go to the CRM and then get posted here and not the other way around. Um, Okay, so uh, now we've got to choose what fields we want to map. So let's go through here. We want the opportunity, we want the company name, the field doesn't exist, we just create uh, a new one. So let's see, we've got first, last, email, opportunities, company. We want the division and the category. Anything that you'd eventually want to um, use as a filter within here in a campaign, we want to sync. So um, maybe we want to do. email status. This could be useful because um, we can do a campaign and say if the email status is they haven't opened anything, then we can put them on a certain campaign. If they've clicked on an email, then we can shift them to another campaign. Um, we're also going to want the SIC code. And the lead source, yeah, what is that? We can always go back and add it later. We're going to sync this daily. And I like to do um, these syncs at like 10 o'clock at night. And then we'll send out all of our daily emails between 10 and midnight. That way we refresh the data as much as possible. We're going to update the opt-out and the deleted contacts. Again, this is um, syncing everything with the CRM. Okay, so now we have our active sync. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our list management. All leads to segments. We're going to create a segment. We'll call it unresponsive. We choose the. Did we add status? No. So we'll have to go back to the sync and then specify status is unresponsive. 
and I'll create the segment. So let's quickly just go back here and make sure that we have the See read status. No. Okay, so now all the unresponsive leads will be put in that segment. So now when we go to automation and we're going to do a new autoresponder and it's going to be um, we can choose a number of different autoresponder campaigns. So if someone signs up, we can do it based on a, a date field. This is what we did for offshore groups, for instance. They had a lead vetted date, and when that lead vetted date was timestamped, then we did an autoresponder based off of that lead vetted date. Um, most likely, we're going to um, do calendar based. And now we can select the segment called Unsponsored Leads under All Leads. Um, we're not going to repeat it. Now we can create our first message. And uh, this is going to be So what we may need to do is, instead of do a calendar-based one, we may want to do it uh, based off of a, um, a date and do it off of the created date. I think that would be a bit better. Are we going to... Um, so we need to sync a new field for the created time, the lead created time. So or we can do a new custom field in the CRM. Uh, that's going to be the better way to do it. So we'll create a, um, a new field in the CRM. We'll probably want to break out a marketing section in leads and have it be a, a date and time field that uh, says date marked unresponsive. And then we'll create a workflow rule that when you update the lead status to unresponsive, it timestamps the data lead is marked as unresponsive. That way we can then um, say one day after the lead is marked as unresponsive, send the first email. Two days after that date, send the second one and so on and so forth. Um, and then uh, uh, that'd be the best way to, to structure it. So mm -hmm. then when you come in here to do this automation campaign, you'll select all leads, unresponsive, and then you'll have this, you'll remember to add this to the sync rule unresponsive date, then you can select that, and then uh, uh, it's just going to be a one-off, not a really, and then you'll go next, create, and then you can actually uh, develop the email campaign as you would a regular campaign. So let me quickly show you how to do a regular campaign. Um, if you wanted to do a one-off campaign, you go here to uh, email campaigns, create a campaign, um, you can Uh, do an example, you choose your, um, your subject, the sender name, the sender email, and where you want them to reply to. Um, then you can um, either build off of an existing template, you can upload an HTML. Um, in most cases, you're going to be going off of a template, and you can either choose from the pre-designed templates that Zoho has, or you can go here to our templates, 
you can see that we already have a few templates in the template library that you can always tweak if you wanted to. Um, if you just wanted literally just a plain email, you can just do a plain text if you wanted a plain text one. Let's just say we're going off of an existing one. And this is pretty easy, it's just a drag and drop editor. So, um, you know, if you want to add a heading, it's much like Pandadoc, you just add your heading, add your text space, you can space it all out. Um, one thing is if you ever put in a link, make sure that you use um, the uh, uh, the link button over here, so that way the Android is not attached. So anytime you put in a URL or button, make sure that you're using the feature so it tracks it all. Um, so you can basically just build your uh, email. Um, uh, one quirky thing is if you're inserting video, you have to do it here through a video tag. So you can see that we have some uh, predefined videos you can pull in, but if you want to pull in a new one, you'd have to add a new video tag. Um, so the way you do that is, oh, let me just quickly show you the rest of this. Um, now that you have the email, you click on your recipients, and then this is where you can choose who you want that email to go to. And then uh, once you've chosen your emails you want it to go to, it'll ask, do you want to send it immediately, or do you want to schedule it for a certain time? And you just click next. Um, to add a video tag, you're going to go to Settings, you're going to go to Merge Tags, and uh, here you're going to go to Video Tags, Add a Video Tag, and you just put in uh, the name, the YouTube, and then the link, and then it'll give you this tag which you put into the actual email. Um, we won't really do too much with reports yet, because we'll do a lot of the reporting back through the CRM. I created an integration so that it sends um, uh, where that email was open, hooked back to the CRM. Um, that's kind of the, the basic overview. We can always do a little bit more in-depth one later to bring in social media. You can either, even bring in like coupons and e-commerce and we'll eventually get into all of that.